the washing machine is on the other side of the wall over there. Um, but I need to get this video done because the kids are asleep. So we're just going to do our best. How's it going today, everybody? Welcome back to Ganshi Plans. Um, today we're doing a weekly plan with me for the week of April 3rd through 9th, uh, Holy Week, which is exciting. I'm going to pull this out. And we're just going to sort of jump right in. Um, I've got pulled up stuff from some of the local churches uh, so that I know what our options are for services and masses and that will all go on here but we're going to start with some colors these new highlighters that I got from Zayar um, they're a little bit tricky to tell exactly what the color is before you swatch them so I've been just doing that before I get started so I know what I'm dealing with. So I think these two would be a good combo. Or you know what? Maybe this bluish one and the very faint one next to each other. That'd be okay. Makes it look more gray. Some variety. All right. I managed to misplace my tweezers that I was using for a few weeks there. They were very nice, and now I don't know where they've gone. They're running out. Oh yeah. Uh, I need to order more. So for now I've got the abbreviated days of the week, and then a different font here for the... Um, days or what it dates. I'm just gonna go ahead and well I wish I had my tweezers. Well St. Anthony has been very good to me lately so I'm just going to be okay with this for now. We, uh, my husband has been missing his wedding ring for years. I think since probably 2019. He set it down somewhere, lost it, and we didn't find it again until last week. I was unpacking the very last box that we have uh, had in this apartment. We still have some boxes from our old house that are in storage that are not going to get dealt with till we buy a house. Um, but anyway, unpacked the very last box here and there it was in the bottom it was just a whole bunch of like gift bags and I was going to get rid of all the gift bags we didn't need um so it's a good thing that I dug all the way to the bottom just to be sure there wasn't anything we needed in there and oh my goodness there was <laughs> the other good news though is that somebody um, um by nothing wanted the box of wrapping paper so it wasn't getting thrown away. Nothing went to waste, which is nice. Anyway. So, yeah, things have been showing up. Missing things have been found, so I am not too worried. I'm sure that they will turn up somewhere. There's not a lot of places that they could be. Though I've also misplaced a cross-stitch needle. That, that might be gone. Okay, don't worry about that. Anyway, uh, let's see. This is what I did last week also with the, more or less, what I did last week with the uh, abbreviated days of the week. So I'm going to go ahead and just sort of label the days of Holy Week like this. Good. We'll do these little streaky bits. 
I use this section on the right hand side for um, categories of things that get done basically every day. Um, my daughter's uniform, what we eat for dinner, the load of laundry I'm doing. Um, she does not have a uniform on the weekend, so I remembered to not highlight that. Um, and so then I can do, I believe, pretty sure that the light blue one is the one that's clean. So she'll wear that these days. This just helps me keep on top of what laundry needs to be done. She has a free day, a free dress day most Fridays, but it is holy, a good Friday, I mean, so she might have something different. I will be checking on that on the calendar for the school, which I don't have in front of me. Um, and then clearly good Friday will be something meatless, but I don't have that planned yet. I don't really have any of the meals for next week planned yet. That's fine. Um, like I was saying, events. I'll just sort of jot some of them down in normal pen for the early part of the week. It's a thing I haven't really been going to, but it does exist, so I like to have it here in case. Um, and then it's baby story time. Haven't been to. It's at 1 p.m., which is like right really when I want my toddler to be taking a nap. Um, and we have school mass. And then I think we're going to do our holy hour again on Wednesday because the Friday will be crazy. That's just what we've been, um, that's been my Lenten like practice, sacrifice, or commitment, whatever you want to call it. Then we have preschool story time. Maybe, probably not. I'll put it here because it's an option. That one's in the morning. The kids have been enjoying time at the library lately. It's just been great since it's been wet and rainy a lot lately. Um, there's definitely not park day on Thursday this week because we've got Holy Thursday Mass uh, at 7 p.m. So I'll just put, wait, what am I putting it here? Okay. It's going to get way down here. I kind of love a busy week just for the planning part, like for the physical decorative layout part, because it's just more interesting. Instead of just, you know, writing the same things over and over again, which you do, but um, let's see. So there's a living stations thing at the school. I don't know if the preschool will be involved in that or not, but I'm going to add it here. And then the Friday service will be at three. Now, you notice I am not putting um, times on here. I put times in my digital calendar. I don't know. Uh, that's just been the way I've been doing it. Also, fun fact for any of you who are not Catholic, because obviously I'm sure a lot of you are not, um, you notice it's a, a Mass on Holy Thursday, but there's actually no Mass on Good Friday. Um, they consecrate enough Eucharist at Holy Thursday Mass that it's just a communion service, so you still get to receive communion, but there's no like official Mass, so it's a shorter service, it involves different things, um, and it's like probably the most unique liturgy of the year. It's really cool. Um, and if you are interested and have never been, you should totally try to go to the Triduum stuff. It's awesome. Um, Easter Vigil on Holy Saturday night is incredible, but it's probably 
not for a beginner because it is like three hours long. Then I think we're just going to go to the normal mass. We usually go to 945. Just put Easter mass. And I'm, as you notice, kind of just highlighting the stuff that I'm actually planning on going to. Um, I usually then cross off the things I don't want to go to or that I didn't get to. I may or may not highlight the thing. I probably won't. I'll just sort of leave them be if I get to them. Um, there we go. I don't have a lot going on on Mondays, which is kind of nice um, to start the week off that way. But at the same time, I feel like it's a little bit, it lulls me into a false sense of security. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just highlight the top. This one in this color. And on this side, it'll be this color. Okay. And then it's time for a little bit of decorative something here. Um, I'll go ahead and grab some sticker headers too. Just. Go ahead and do these ones. To do and no, oh, uh, to do and important. That we use. So I've already used two different fonts for these, so I may as well use a third font. Um, it's important sticker will go on this side. Uh, it's for projects and habits. Then on this side, I'll put to do, that's for tasks, may or may not be part of these projects. Um, sometimes they are, sometimes they're individual things. Um, but these are things that I check off once, these are things that obviously you check off uh, whenever they do get done, so that can be multiple times. Uh, I'm going to put, I'm going to go ahead and use this bold micron like this Friday, Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday. Looks a little bit janky. Ah uh, well. And like I said, a little bit of decor here. I don't know if I have any stickers that would be good for this. It's a pretty solemn type of a week and a lot of my stickers are a bit more whimsical. Um, so I will probably do, hmm, I could do a little desert terrarium. That seems kind of wanton. Or, oh. <laughs> I completely forgotten about this sticker sheet here. The butterfly. Butterfly would be good. So I could do something deserty up at like the top here and then something springy down here. Right, because it's the week will start being all that way, and then that'll do. I got these roses. I don't need these rose stickers. All right. <laughs> I'm probably never going to use this. These come with, uh, or used to at least, came with Chic Sparrow orders. I think I should have something to use. Mm, I'd forgotten. I actually have the washi tape that matches that. Okay. Alright, so at the top here we're going to put this purple stripe. bottom I will put this sort of pinky foiled stripe. There we 
aan. Then we'll put this like desert. Terrarium here. Ah, okay, I guess that's where it is. I hate that. It's are not repositionable. All right. And then on this side, I'll put whichever one looks like it. Maybe this one. Nope. All right, how's that look? Try to keep things very subtle. I might uh, include just like a strip of this over here too, right? That won't hurt anything. This feels like it's sort of getting yellowed and gummy. I haven't used this one in a long time. Um, got this paper backing on it. sure what I can put in the to-do list yet, but I will be copying over some of the ideas from last week's um, tracker thing. Uh, tax return, probably not going to get done uh, this weekend, but it might. I'm going to put the habits at the top, so just clean and organize. So I get, you know, credit for anything I get done around the house. Um, let's see. That's done. Hopefully that will get done. Shop update. My goodness, still isn't done. It's one of those entropy things. I just need to, like, pick at it. There's only so much left. Uh, okay. Then, yeah, Easter baskets are pretty much done. Those just need to be put together the night before Easter. And then Dominic's party is the big thing. I just started the bulk of the, like, real heavy-duty planning stuff in here um, yesterday. It was great. Like I said, we took everybody to the library. And the kids ran off and played by themselves, and I sat down and worked um, on some, like, yeah, like, sat down and actually got some planning done for that. So, anyway, I'm going to just highlight, like, that's definitely a project. And then anything that needs doing that's just, like, a task, I will add here. I can check my monthly. I always got to check the monthly. Um... Yeah, okay, fertilizer. It's due this week. And that's it. Oh no, yes, yeah, that's it. And then anything that doesn't get done from last week will get moved over like Monday morning or Sunday night or something. In the meantime, and there we go. I'll just go ahead and put this back in. I think that's not too bad. I get worried whenever I feel like I want to use a um, bolder color. Like, 
this purple because I feel like when I use bolder colors it tends to go and start looking really garish really fast. But there you go. Um, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, and don't forget to subscribe if you did. I post videos every Thursday. So I will see you guys in the next video. Have a productive day and see you next week. Bye.